Hey guys, it's Raina with Eternal Life Matters, and today I am going to do a takeoff on where I left off with Revelation 4. And before I do that, I'd like to just show you guys um, in my researching what all took place in 1948. And you know that's why, because Israel became a nation again. So we have a lot of things, a lot of these, you're just going to be like blown away when I read this to you. So God is keeping him confused, uh, Satan that is, because Satan doesn't even know what's going on half the time. He keeps going in, pulling back, going in, pulling back, as far as like the whole agenda on everything that we're dealing with now in this time. But in 1948, all of these organizations were formed. Of course, Israel reborn in 1948, the World Council of Churches in 48, World Trade Organization, United Nations in 48, first computer chip in 1948, abortion industry in 48, Planned Parenthood came about in 48. Commercial television came out in 1948. NATO, Foreign Military Alliance, 1948. Cold War with Russia, 1948. Records with subliminal messaging, backmasking backwards, 1948. Nuclear arm race started in 1948. The sexual revolution, 1948. Extreme earthquaking in diverse places already started in 1948. Israel's first use of bioweapons, 1948. Vaccinations started in 1948. The fluoridization H2O supply in U.S. began in 1948. The microwave oven, millimeter waves, 1948. The NSA, National Security Act. The CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, and FBI all came in 1948. Oh, goodness. Transistor radio in 1948. NASCAR starts in 1948. Genocide control in 1948. Oh, guys. I'm telling you, professional sports started in 1948. We go and we look at this generation. And number one, world government. Two, one church, one religion. Three, one currency. Four, mark of the B. Four, sacrifice to Satan, sacrifice to beast. So these rituals that these people are doing that are very aware of what they're doing. Seven, programming entire generation through social engineering. Eight, one world military, UN. Nine, genocide control, once again. Ten, destroy health. Eleven, Spying on Americans. 12. District. Distract the masses, excuse me. 13. Program the masses through TV. 14. 5G. Millimeter wave weaponry. 15. We'll say geoengineering, chemtrails. Harp. Spraying heavy metals onto the people, into the atmosphere. 16, horror movies going over the top. 17, sacrificing. 18, rituals done on live TV and movies. Opening portals into your very home if you're watching these things. CRISPR. We have the tell live vision. I told you guys about that. 19, too many cows farting greenhouse gas. Good Lord. 20, propaganda, thank you to Obama. <laughs> A 
Obama, yes. Government can lie to you to get you to do what they want. That's what propaganda is. They lie to the masses to get you to do what they want. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And it is so true. Peter said scoffers will be everywhere. We are there, you guys. They are so anti-God. Genesis 6, fallen angels mixing their seed with the daughters of men. I know because Peter said, women cover your heads. Because the angels, the fallen ones, love the daughter's hair. Well, my daughter's hair was cut. This has been a year ago. And so I am ready and I am strong. I am able to talk about this. She was nine and she is now 10. Um, she has hair close to her hips. And when this piece, it was like lasered off and her hair was up and I have two witnesses that witnessed this whole phenomenon of my daughter's hair being cut. I was feeling very threatened by this. And of course, that's what they wanted. I was praying a lot about the skies because if you go back and look at my videos, I've had successful, and anybody can do this, you guys. Anybody can do this. Um, you pray against these geoengineering planes that are spraying out all types of chemicals all over us, okay? Um, I feel like that I was being attacked because of this, because many of their uh, so-called demons, whatever they have up there flying around, whether they're men that are possessed or there are demons because they fly into a cloud and don't fly back out again. It is nuts. And you don't even see the plane, by the way. I filmed a lot of it. So this is the other thing. I wanted to take you guys real quick, please, if you will now, before we start the Revelation study or reading. Please go with me, if you could, to Psalm 120. Psalm 120, if you don't know about the Psalms, the Psalms prophesy, and 0 to 100 in the Psalms is all about the 1900s. When you go to Psalm 101, you're talking about 2001. So then when you get to 2020, it would be Psalm 120. And then this year is Psalm 121. So just to let you know. I'm reading from the King James, and it's a lot better when you just take it from the Hebrew and the Greek because you get a little bit different, but this is just as good. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sovereign in Mesech, and I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Sounds exactly like uh, Psalm 120 sounds exactly like 121, okay? I'm sorry, 2020, with all the stuff that we had happen. When we get to Psalm 121, I this is the psalm. There's 15 psalms that are psalms of ascension. But this 15th psalms, the 15th, 15 of them, they are all psalms of ascension but psalm 121 is different this is the psalm to ascend so now when i read it to you you will get it even better here we go psalm 121 i will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the lord which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved 
He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. And more and more I keep finding scripture that talks about our right hands. The sun shall not smite thee by the day, nor the moon by the night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve, get this, thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Okay, so going out of the firmament into heaven and coming back in down onto the earth for the thousand year millennial reign. That's what I believe that's all about. And I also believe it is the rapture because it's a song to ascension, to ascend. Okay, so here we go, guys. Back to the reading on Revelation. After this, I looked and behold, the door was opened in heaven. And the first voice, which I heard, was as if, as if it was a trumpet talking with me. This is something that is nothing new either. We can go back and uh, into the Old Testament and we can see a lot of that taking place. Um, I will go into a further study about that at another time. So this trumpet was talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. He's showing John. But what's great about it is this is the rapture, I believe, all the way. Because once you're done with the warnings, Jesus is giving his warnings one through three. And I believe that this, at this point, it's talking about the rapture as soon as that door is open. Because remember, Jesus is at the door. He has not come through the door yet. So once that door is open, Jesus comes through that door. So, and immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he sat, he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight, like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were twenty four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne, there were four beasts full of eyes before, the, before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf. And the third beast had a face of a man and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when these beasts, those beasts, give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty-four elders fell down before him that sat on the throne and worshipped him, and worshipped him, that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So I just wanted to mention about the crowns, 
because the crowns soon will be thrown off. They will cast their crowns down before uh, the throne, and there is just a great celebration. It's almost like it's a graduation, almost, if you want to say. But my thing is this. There's nobody wearing crowns in heaven. The only one wearing crowns is the Father and the Son. We, as human beings, we will be wearing crowns, the kings and the priests during the thousand year millennial reign. So there's some symbol, there's some symbolology to that, and we will get to that later. And I saw in the right hand of him that sit on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I went, I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon, thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they, they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for there was slain and has redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousands, time ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. You guys, that's the rapture. That's us. Because we are in chapter five, okay? Um, the church is removed at three, four. You don't even hear of the church anymore. So why am I not surprised? You're reading it right here in chapter five. Verse 11, it says, And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Okay, guys, so it's not just the 24 elders at this point anymore. We have many, many people from different tongues, different uh, nations that are all joining, and they are there. They're already up in heaven. So that is clear. Pre-rapture, pre the pre-rapture before the seven-year great tribulation which is going to focus in on israel and god's people in israel 
okay? This seven years that we've been dealing with for the last seven years is about to come to an end. And then the new seven years, the great, great tribulation will begin. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such... Guys, let me just flip that back on because... can see them and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto that to him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever and the four beasts said amen and the four and the twenty-four elders fell down and worship, worshiped him that liveth forever and ever. Guys, another thing, this is just an idea and I could be wrong, but when you hear 20 and 4 elders, I believe that that is a symbol or a, basically, that's us. I believe that it really is. I believe the 20 and 4 elders is us. All of God's children that were raptured. Okay. Now going on to chapter 6. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals that I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse. And he that sat on him had a, bat, a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat therein to take the peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay? Red equals war. So it's no surprise. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast saying, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou, hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. The harlot, the harlot is going to be doing a massive genocide. We have two different parts. We have two in the Bible. One is for the martyrs of the harlot and one is the martyrs for the beast system. So this is the first one. The New World Order. And they cried with a loud voice. Hold on. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw another, uh, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Obviously, these people are already up in heaven, and they're waiting, they're waiting. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also, and their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. And I beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. 
And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains saying, hide us. <laughs> Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Amen. This is it. We are here, you guys. I am here doing this because I love the Lord and I am being obedient, I'm trying to understand, and I have nobody, you guys, I'm alone. I'm alone with my 10-year-old daughter. And I, since 2016, I know that's not that long ago, although for since 2011, I have been very, very much loving Jesus, and um, but never did I have anything happen to me like in 2016 when I was told to move from Chicago to the Ozark area, and uh, it was given to me in a dream. So <clears throat> I've never had the things that have happened since then um, happen, and they're still happening. It's an amazing thing. When you are uh, spiritual, not religious. So any of you out there that are spiritual and not religious, please join my channel. I want to talk to you guys. Anybody out there that is not saved, saved and sealed, sealed and saved by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus, you can just bow your head right now. And I will tell you this. You can say, I know I'm a sinner, and I'm done, I repent. Lord Jesus, will you please come into my heart? Show me you're real. Show me the truth, Lord Jesus. And I believe that he will come and work with you. That's what I did, and that's what happened. So, in exposing evil was the job I was given. The Lord told me that the movie Star Wars is not exactly like what's coming, but he did say that uh, that I would be filming things and um, that I was to expose evil. And so that got me to thinking, what does this mean? What does this mean? So because I remember being living in San Diego when I was eight years old and my mother took me to see Star Wars and I loved that movie, but it is all about just like the Terminator. When you think about it, the Terminator, that guy's name was John Connor. He has the same initials as Jesus Christ and is to be the savior of the world. But that's from Satan. That's not from uh, God. So you have to look. And then when you go and look and you watch that Terminator movie, nine. 9-11 is all over the movie. That's because Jesus' birthday is 9-11. Okay? That's another thing I was told by the Father. So, they just want to smear his son's name, is what he said. And by having bad things happen, you know, you dial 911 if someone's having a heart attack, and it's just like, not the best of memories, right? To have to call 911. And then we also have our 2001 uh Thing that happened and that really really woke a lot of people up so um, I'm not going to read anymore but I do want to read just from the book of Enoch real quick chapter 39 out of the book of Enoch and it shall come to pass in those days that elect and holy children will descend from the high heaven and their offspring will become one with the children of men. Sorry, guys. It was trying to tell me I couldn't record anymore. Oh, crap. I'm going to stop recording, but I love you guys. Bye.
Um, it's a 30 long. This is so, I'll load it and I'll do a number two to this study, okay? Love you guys.